Hi everyone and thank you for joining us for another Marketer Monday. This week we are talking about Periscope and Meerkat and how we as marketers can utilize these networks. So let's jump right into it. We're first going to cover some quick ideas of how you can use Periscope and Meerkat for your business, your clients, whatever situation you're in. And keep in mind with Periscope and Meerkat, the beauty of these networks is they are very quick uh, in terms of you can just pull your phone out and just start shooting. People love that raw, unedited look. So there's not a lot of pressure to like put a lot of time into it. Whereas a Google Hangout or especially like a YouTube video, people expect a little bit more of a professional production. Whereas on these networks, it's kind of actually discouraged to have that you know professional feel. People love that behind the scenes look. So with that in mind, tours are an awesome idea. If you have you know a new office space you moved into, whether you're a big company like Facebook or you're a small startup, people love to see like behind the scenes stuff. Uh, we also have meetings. So uh, Mashable does a really good job with this on uh, on Meerkat, they've been doing it. I'm not sure if they've been doing it on Periscope, but the editor meetings they have, they'll just set up a phone or you know set up a phone to start broadcasting Meerkat and people can kind of get that behind the scenes look of how a story comes to life. So they're, you know, they're discussing different things that are coming up. So think about your niche and conversations that you guys have in the company that would probably make for good content. If you have a podcast for your company, why not Periscope it or Meerkat it at the same time to widen your reach? Um, AMAs or Q and A's, kind of the same thing, but again, look at your niche. Um, you know, if you're an expert on it or you feel that you're, you can you know, comfortably take questions from people, Boom, turn on the feed and start answering questions. I've seen a lot of photographers, you know, uh, movie producers, uh, you know, I mean, celebrities obviously, for, you know, for obvious reasons, but this is a great way to, on the fly, people get to see a face, they get familiar with you, and it's so much easier than just, you know, sitting down and, and going through a list of questions and typing them out, and it's a much more real approach. I think this type of stuff will do very well, or at least pay, play a big role in the upcoming elections in 2016, and to, depending on how politicians choose to uh, utilize this. We also have live events. This is an obvious one. You know, if you have live events that are going on, why are you not throwing these on Periscope or Meerkat to, again, widen your audience? If it is a, you know, premium event or you know private to where people have to pay for a ticket you may be thinking well i'm not going to broadcast it then people wouldn't buy tickets you don't have to broadcast the entire event show a you know behind the scenes look or um you know if there's a really good speaker um who's speaking at that time show you know a minute or two of his speech just to get people a taste of what it's like to be at that conference or be at that event then we also have uh, stream existing hangouts. So if you already are on Google Plus and, you, and maybe you have your, like, your weekly hangouts where people can join and watch and you're discussing a certain topic or with other people, why are you not also throwing this on Meerkat? It doesn't mean you need to ditch Google Hangouts. You can still have your um, show or your stream on Google Plus, but you can set up your phone to point towards your screen and broadcast the chat that's going back and forth between you and the other people inside of your Hangout. So it's just another great way to, again, widen your reach to a new audience that maybe would never ever you know, take the time to sit down and watch a Hangout. And then we also have customer support. This can be a, I think this is, live streaming is really gonna change the way customer support happens. Um, but right now we can kind of be the pioneer. So if you have a product or a, a software, or whatever it is, when someone emails with a problem, now you can say, hey, that's a great question. I'm gonna be on Periscope at noon today to actually show exactly how to use this product or to solve the trouble you know, shooting that's going on we, um, you know, be sure to follow us on Periscope or Meerkat, whatever the network is. And it's just a great personal way to answer questions and it shows people that you care. So again, awesome way to uh, utilize Periscope for and Meerkat for customer support. 
We also have crowdsourced research. So if you've been in business for a long time or have been in marketing especially or advertising, you know how expensive focus groups can be. Not only expensive, but super time consuming to put together. So this is actually a really good way to just flip on your phone, whether it's Meerkat or Periscope, and just start asking questions to people uh, or, or, or you know, show off a mock-up of a product you guys are working on. Whatever it is, it's an awesome way to get free and real-time feedback on stuff. So look at your product or look at your service, your company, and figure out ways that you could integrate these into your content. Next, <clears throat> we're gonna talk about some tips that um, we use with, uh, with these different networks. So first off, build up your Twitter account. Don't think that these networks are going to replace your, you know, your Twitter or Facebook because they're heavily integrated into them, especially Twitter with Periscope obviously being owned by Twitter. So the bigger audience you have on Twitter, every time you start those streams and it automatically sends out a tweet, you're gonna have a lot more viewers with a big audience on Twitter versus a following with 50 people. Also, use event hashtags or popular hashtags. It's, if it's an event that you're streaming, make sure you know what the, the popular event hashtags are and include that in the title of the stream because when that goes out to a tweet, those turn into hashtags. And then obviously popular hashtags that are related to your video. Don't just throw in popular hashtags and then you know start streaming something completely unrelated. Focus on people. This is huge. People want to see a face with Periscope and Meerkat. They don't want to just see different things. I get not every video is going to be about a person or about people, but try as much as possible to make most of your streams people focused because your interaction rates are gonna be much higher when people see a face that they can start asking questions or, or leaving comments to. It's frustrating when someone like Jim Gaffigan will do a Periscope or a Meerkat and you wanna see Jim, but he's just showing um, you know all of his friends and it's like we don't want to we want to see you Jim so uh, keep that in mind and then also have a catchy opening shot this is especially important for Periscope I believe Meerkat does the same thing if not let me know in the comment section below but the second you hit stream whatever you're looking at will be the uh, will be the thumbnail in the feed so make sure it's an attractive catchy uh, thumbnail especially or I should say preferably one with a face. Faces do very well. And then uh, remind users to follow. This sounds like you're begging or it sounds kind of spammy, but a lot of the times people aren't in, they're just watching, they're just, they're figuring you out. They may already like you and, they're, and that's why they're, they're continuing to watch. Just remind them, hey, I'm gonna do a video this Saturday or if you wanna see more great stuff, be sure to follow me here on Periscope or on Meerkat and you'll be surprised how many people just by reminding them that like, oh yeah, I forgot, follow, because it's frustrating when you watch an awesome video and then the feed ends and you forgot that person's name and you never followed them. So a lot of times people need to be reminded. And then the last tip is engage on other videos. So when I, when I say that, I mean hop onto the account that you're trying to promote and go to related videos to your niche and participate in discussions, ask questions, give insights, because people will see that you're commenting and you're bringing you know, good ideas onto the table and they're gonna click on your name and then follow you. So, and you'll probably, you know, if, it's a, if it's a smaller person, odds are they're also going to uh, follow you back. So again, engage, provide value to people and you'll be surprised how often you can get um, people to follow you on there. So a few last things with Meerkat and Periscope. First off, Schedule events. This is, these are some of the things I like about Meerkat is that you can schedule events ahead of time, which is huge, so that you can say, this Saturday at noon, we're gonna be at Central Park and we are filming this. And then people can set reminders. So that's awesome. That's one thing Periscope doesn't do yet, but I'm sure they'll eventually add that. We also have download and break up content. So with Meerkat, when you're done with a feed, you can actually download it and then you can break it up into YouTube content, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever it is. There's so many different ways to repurpose content with your Meerkat videos. Only you can download them. Other users, as of now, cannot download your videos on Meerkat. Meerkat is also on Android and iOS, so that's the big thing. Um, Periscope currently is not on Android, although they have uh, said that there are there are plans to do that, so you do you have a good reach with uh, with with both platforms there, 
And then we also, uh, Meerkat integrates with Facebook very well. Obviously with the whole politics behind Periscope being owned by Twitter, Meerkat's kind of gone the Facebook direction. So when you start a stream on Meerkat, you can post it to Twitter and to Facebook. And that's a big advantage that Meerkat has right now over Periscope. With Periscope, we've got 24 hour viewing. So very much like Snapchat stories, when you are done with a video, it's viewable to your followers for 24 hours, which is great because not everyone is sitting around their phones able to join a live stream. It's owned by Twitter, so the reach is huge, and it's easy to game right now. This is a little more black hat, but if you notice when you look at the most loved people, it's just like 13 million hearts for all these different people and their accounts you'd never heard of. It's because they're getting on a stream and then they get on another phone and join the stream and then just sit there and tap, 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 just giving themselves tons of hearts. So that's gonna go away soon. Don't rely on that, but it's one interesting point. It's easy to game. So those are just a few points on Periscope and Meerkat. Uh, we'll talk more about some other digital marketing topics next week. Thanks for joining us for today's Marketer Monday. Mm -hmm.